what happens? What happens? The size of the droplets, water droplets, are more than the size of the wavelength of the light. They will not further bring the rays, right? And the water molecular density is very less in the white drops, and they scattered all the light equal. Blue is also same, same photons of all the colors. For that reason, when you look at them, they are quite different colors. Okay, scattering is like because I, if I am reflecting violet, I look white, right? So when you see the cloud, they are white in color means. The droplets, the molecules present in the cloud are bigger the size of the wavelength of the light. For that reason, they are scattering equally. For that reason, white light incidenting on them will also reflect white light. They also reflect white light. For that, for that reason, they appear white in color. Okay. Tindal scattering comes when there is a colloidal solution. Colloidal particle, you know, when or mud and water, the small draw dust particles moving random. Tindal, even you know that is a tindal scattering, random walk. Colloidal is the soccer swimming colloidal solution. This is for white color in clouds. And uh, the some clouds appear black in color because the water density is more. It will not allow any light to go. They will absorb all the light falling on them. For that reason, they appear black in color, and they will bring the rain. Okay. And in the midday, this is a oblique incidence. For that reason, scattering is prominent. At the full moon, sun is on the head. On our head, it is normally incidental. The scattering is less when uh, there is a normal incidence. The scattering is less. For that reason, when you look at the sun, uh, you are seeing it white because all the colors sent by sun are up. Uh, we are receiving them, and for that reason, sun appears. White in color, right? The total moon. But at sunrise and sunset, even sun setting all the colors, but we are missing. Uh, we are seeing less blue because most blue is scattered. For that reason, sun appears orange, right? This is our elastic scattering. And now we are discussing inelastic scattering, and that is very important. And for that reason, I thought it is better. To do because Raman effect, C. V. Raman is the only Indian scientist who got Nobel Prize, and this question always appears in the exam. The question may be on Raman effect, the experimental setup. It may be on experimental setup or the explanation of the Raman effect on the basis of quantum theory, or explanation of the Raman effect on the basis of classical theory. Right? Or uh, there may be a question, short note, and the notes, uh, the applications are common. Okay? But um, these are the very important questions. So one question will come on common effect. That is fixed. Five marks question is uh, sometimes it will be ten marks. Both they will ask experimental setup, either quantum or classical theory. So that is very important, and we have to. Now adjust for online classes also. Um, simultaneously there will be online and offline classes uh, because we don't want uh, you know, hostile students should not lose the classes of the online. That right? Okay. Uh, Raman effect in nineteen twenty eight, February twenty eight, Raman discovered Raman effect. Okay, Raman discovered the type of inelastic scattering, and that is known as the Raman effect. This is very uh, important uh, 
his story made by Raman and on this day he published the paper it is not the birthday of Raman on this day he published the paper and that fetched the Nobel Prize for him and for the country and for that reason we celebrate February 28th as National Science Day to create the awareness among the people uh, we celebrate that day as National Science Day. So first we list what is the drama number things and inelastic scattering. Inelastic scattering means the scattered light has a wavelength different from the incident light. In a railway scattering, mice scattering, indoor scattering, scattered intensity may be changing but wavelength is the same. But inelastic scattering, wavelength is a different from the original and that is known as inelastic scattering. And Raman effect is an inelastic scattering. That is very important. And Raman effect laid the foundation, one of the experiments laid the foundation for quantum mechanics. Right? Like photoelectric effect, Raman effect is also provide Compton effect, Raman effect, photoelectric effect. They give solid foundation for quantum mechanics. Uh, where we believe the light ray or the energy is going in the form of photons, particles. Right? Earlier we got Maxwell's last step, we have studied optics. There we studied wave theory of light. But quantum theory says the light moves around the particles again, like um, corpuscular theory and that light particles are called photons. So that is the quantum mechanics. Okay, the Raman effect laid the foundation. It provides strong support for quantum mechanics. And it is also important which gives, which shows the existence of energy levels In the molecules, like we got energy levels in force theory, you have seen uh, the electrons are existing in different energy levels, right? N is equal to you know, N is equal to 1 first orbit, right? This is principal quantum number. I both said that N is equal to 1, there are different orbits. Okay, n is equal to 1 first orbit, the electron exists in different orbits. So we mark 1, 2, 3, and when the electron jumps from one orbit to the other orbit, it gives out a light. Alright? Uh, such energy levels are also existing in molecules. What is the difference between atom and molecule? Atom is the smallest part of the material or element which can independently exist. Am I right? It is the smallest which can independently exist means molecule, not atom. It is the smallest part of the element which exhibits all the properties of that element means atom. Atom is the smallest part of the element which exhibits all the properties of that element. It is the present definition we take. I say present definition because it is not the exact definition. But till we get the exact definition, we retain this. Atom is the smallest part of that element which exhibits all the properties of the element. It may independently exist or it may not be independently. For example, if you take oxygen, right? If you on, go to the smallest part, you will get oxygen atom, right? But that is not independently existing. Always we find O2. 
O is not independently existing, but it is the smallest part. So this is atom, but if this can independently exist. This is molecule. That is the difference. Molecule is that smallest part which can independently exist. Right? Atom is the smallest part. It is a. It may not independently exist. So molecule usually it is bigger in atom, but there are different types of molecules. Uniatomic molecules are single atomic molecules. Can you give one example? Only one atom that can be called as molecule. All noble gases, helium, they independently exist. Neon. All noble gases, the the atoms can independently exist. For that reason, that atom is also called as molecule, and they are called single atomic molecules. Right? Atom molecule. There is no difference between them. If we are studying atomic spectra, that is as good as molecular spectra. But there are some molecules where there are two atoms, like. O2 carbon monoxide. This is independently existing, right? This is a diatomic molecule. If you take CO2, one C with two oxygen, that is existing, and it exhibits all the properties of CO2. And CO2 molecule, this molecule is independently existing. This is a triatomic molecule, right? Like that, we have different atoms. O3, O is atom, O2 is molecule, and O3 is also molecule. This is a triatomic molecule. Uh, we got four atoms, five atoms, more than that. But simple, always we need to study for the simplest case. Here also in molecular spectra, we mean the study for simple molecule. Simple molecule means it should not take. Ah, uh, for atomic spectra, what we will do is we take the simple atom. Simple atom is hydrogen. So all the study so far you made is only for hydrogen atom. Because first let us understand that as the other things are complicated. Later we can address this. Are complicated problems. Similarly, we have to in molecular spectrum we are studying only the simplest molecule, and simplest molecule first we address that, we study that, then we can go to the triatomic tetra, like that. Okay, that's very good. Very a simplest is. Single atom, but single atom there is no extra you are doing. That is atom and the molecular piece. So simplest atom means it starts with two atom pairs. Okay, you can make HCl steady, CO carbon monoxide steady. Where we got two atoms, it may be H2 or it may be O2. Or it may be carbon monoxide, or maybe it is HCl, right? That are the simple atoms we take. Two atoms molecule we take it as the simplest because single atom molecule is like it is like atomic spectra for noble gases. It is like atomic spectra. Molecular spectra is the same as the atomic spectra. Okay. And we now Ramana Pet shows there are energy levels existing in molecules same as that of atoms. As we got the different uh, orbit cells, right? Similarly, you get a molecule is in the normal, it is in the ground state. When you supply energy to the molecule, it go to the excited state. If you supply more energy, it will go to the next higher excited state. And it cannot live there for a longer time. It jumps back to the ground state. It has taken energy while going up, 
so it will come down by leaving the energy and that energy comes in the form of light and that is the spectra what you will get why you are getting spectra why you are getting different colors when you switch on sodium light uh, mercury light or why you are getting light when you switch on sodium bulb because electrically the, you are exciting the gaseous molecules to their higher state they cannot stay there for a longer time they have taken energy they have supplied electrical energy right and they have taken that energy and gone to the higher state higher state in the excited state and they will come back to the ground state they cannot be there for a longer time around 10 raised to minus 8 cycle they will come back by emitting the energy this time they emit the energy in the form of light for that reason they are getting light if they have gone to different levels then you are getting different colors okay that is it so these are the important things about the raman effect why it is an inelastic scattering it is supports for quantum mechanics and uh, it shows that uh, the energy levels are existing in molecules okay now we will take up uh, what actually raman identified in his effect see me raman indian scientist okay he noticed that he made uh, the mercury light in a historic experiment he made the mercury light put the fire blue color of mercury light he chose a blue color of mercury light and he made it to fall on organic solvents like benzene all right when light falls on this while the looking for the scattering effect always we go in a perpendicular direction the scattering is very easy to study in a perpendicular direction so always we set up the experimental setup in a 90 degree this in a perpendicular here we are observing what we are getting out we are making this particular wavelength to fall on the organic solvents you can do with a different man tell him this how what drama did the original experiment cost around the 300 rupees of course in that time it is wooden and i have got the opportunity to look into that original uh, instrument which is kept in indian science congress office in calcutta right uh, i got that pick really I can put it on the right side. Okay, that original setup, it was used by now. And he made this land of put the fire to fall on this side. Uh, we are observing. He observed whatever the colors are coming out in this direction. And he, this is the one wavelength. Okay, incident light. This is the wavelength of light incident. Incident light wavelength. Or it is incident spectra. It is a lambda we call it. And if you take the spectrum of this uh, scattered light, it consists of original. Or let me put the exact angle of this so that more convincing. Okay. He got original also. It is a uh, scattered light. He got original. Along with this, some lines are also coming on higher wavelength side and on lower wavelength side. This is lambda minus d lambda, lesser wavelength. This is lambda plus d lambda. You can call d lambda 1, d lambda 2 for this. Okay, I can make this way. This is lambda actually. And this is the lambda minus d lambda 2. This is lambda plus d lambda 2. 
instead of getting only one uh, light in the scattered beam, he got uh, several wavelengths. The original was also present, but along with that, there are some higher wavelengths. Higher wavelengths is less energy, lesser frequency, and lower wavelengths are means higher energy. We are getting more energetic light than the incident beam. We are getting less energetic beam and more energetic. And you see this. These are called higher wavelength lines. Are called uh, Stokes lines. And these are lower wavelength lines. Are called anti Stokes lines. These are Stokes lines and these are anti-Stokes lines. Okay. Along with original. So, what are the experimental observation he made in the scattered light spectrum? We get along with original. Incident lambda. We got lambda plus d lambda and lambda minus d lambda like some. And they are symmetrically placed on either side of lambda. Whatever difference is there here, that difference is same on this side. Uh, these are called Stokes lines. These are called anti stroke lines. Okay. And they are symmetrically placed. Strokes and anti stroke lines are symmetrically placed on either side of the camera. Equally, the gap, if it is 4358, about 4358, less than 10, more than 10. Less than 20, more than 20. Right? Symmetrical placement, whatever it is less is than that. I. The third observation he made is the land, delta lambda. That depends on the Type of the scatter, the change in the wavelength, whatever happening, it does not depend on this sir. lambda falling. Instead of 4358, if you have made 5358 or 5600 to fall on this, delta lambda does not change with the lambda. It changes instead of bending if you use the tolling. Then there is a change in delta lambda. Okay. Keep the same 4358 instead of bending, if you change it to tolling, then this delta lambda is a different. If uh, here there was a 10 angstrom change, more than 10, less than 10, but when you change this to tolling, there will be change in 50, plus 50 minus 50. But if you change instead of 4358 to 5600, but if you keep bending as they say, then there will not be much, again, 10 more, 10 less. For tolling, it is 50 more, 50 less. Like that. Okay. The, what I want to stress is the change in the movement depends on the scatterer, but not on the incident wavelength of the line. Depends on the type of the scatter, type of the medium. And the third one, delta lambda depends on type of scatter, not on light. Right? And the fourth one is if you see the intensity of strokes and anti strokes line, if you see these, Intensity 
the anti stroke the strokes lines are more intense than anti stroke lines these are more intense than these lines these lines are present but they are little blur they are not that prominent <coughs> are able to see them but they are not of higher intensity compared to stokes lines so the fourth observation we made is the stokes lines are more intense than anti stokes lines <coughs> this is the observation raman made and he published this paper this is the original part right what he say when this particular web are uh, when the incident in the scattered beam we are seeing not only original original but less side more of that and the change in the wavelength occur in depends on the scattering material and higher uh, the intensity of the stokes lines is more than the that of the anti stokes lines so that is the uh, raman <coughs> right he has not given expression expression somebody has given but this was the work for which raman has done it appears very simple the original work appears very simple but it is not like that several volumes if you see on raman has said the applications are plenty several volumes if you see on raman has said so many have written on of the applications of the raman so we will go to return a lot of work was done even if you see this i chemistry lab some mixing two chemicals you have put something and it was you got something and you have to find out what is that you have got whether two molecules of one mixed to the three molecules of the second compound or four molecules of first mixed with one molecule of the second compound that we don't know we mix them and we cook them that's all but what we got for that we then you have to take a raman spectra uv spectra same term now and as they are taking to confirm what compound you have got from that right so in that reason raman is very useful right we got wide applications but this is the bomb okay you understood that what is the raman effect it is an inelastic scattering when light falls on the scattering scatterer or the medium okay the scattered beam consists not only of the smaller and higher wavelength of the incident light the higher wavelengths are called stokes lines the lower wavelengths are called anti stokes lines the intensity of the catch the uh, stokes lines is more than that of the anti stokes more intensity means more occurring out of 100 if 70 occurs for stokes 30 occurs for anti stokes that is the meaning intensity means number of photons we are getting more photons of, on this side less photons on this side that is that is a very occurring phenomena that is a more occurring phenomena now you have to explain this okay the experimental setup i will draw this Consists a glass tube in which a dust-free 
organic liquid is taken to steady ground. This is the dust free fuel. Organic solvent car is taken in a transparent tube. Right, it has got a water jacket because when light falls on that, we need to catch. We should avoid over heating of this. So water is circulating in this. We are making hot water to go. This is. Water circulation. Okay. Uh, then we got the transparent mirror here. Uh, mirrors which reflect the light back because we don't want to miss the light. If it is going out, we are making it to come back and fall on the material. Okay. And we got a filter here. Historically used mercury arc spectrum. And he got the filter. He used only 435 angstrom because mercury emits all the colors, almost all. Right? We get blue, red, all that. But we want only 435 times to run to fall to enter into this. This glass tube has got an hollow shape ending on one side. Right? So as to add the this is black and outside. This is particular shape we have. It is made. Nowadays, setups are different, but this is the original we got. This is the hollow shaped side. Okay, you add the solution now in this place. I mean, this is the incident like this. Okay. Yeah. It is a uh, scattered light beam. These are reflectors, mirror reflectors. This is water beam for circulation. 